Look, y'all, I don't know what's going on with Diddy. We need to find out what's happening here. In this particular footage here, I want y'all to see something that, to me, it's kind of shocking. It's kind of telling because with all of the allegations and all of the things that's going on, I want to know what's happening here, fam. You, you be a judge. Listen to this thing and let's just roll the tape. Let's go. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, introduce yourself. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other oh. last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets, and then Papa Combs decided th that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. kids and everybody else adopted kids Charlize Theron everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock I adopted you because I felt that you could you know um enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out so um I mean, what do we do? What what do we say about this? He saw this girl in the streets and just looked at her and said, hey, let me bring you inside to play with my kids. And then he said, you know, this sounds borderline suspect. And with all the allegations and everything everybody's talking about, I'm just asking questions now. I'm just asking questions because it's almost like he's trying to clean this up by saying, well, you know, Madonna adopted kids. I'm very concerned about these celebrities when they be adopting kids. You know what I mean? You have to really question, like, what's really going on? What's going on when they be adopting these kids? What are they doing? Because clearly, he brought her on camera to tell this story. Let's hear what he what he had to say. Let's go back to the beginning and hear what, what's going on here. Because this is crazy. I was on the streets. <laughs> and then Papa Combs. Papa Combs. She was on the streets, she says. And Papa Combs did what? Decided that he would like to be a caring man. <laughs> Why would he just want to decide to be a caring man if you're on the street? Y'all can't, can't see this? What street she was on? And why was he looking at her? And out of all the people that are homeless, he decided to bring her in, a Caucasian girl. Make it make sense. Yes, people adopt people all the time, but this right here, with all of the the talks going on on social media, with the SEX trafficking allegations, with the people and the witnesses coming forward saying this happened and that happened, what's going on here? Because this is not looking good, man. Check it out. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up. <laughs> and said to come inside and play with his kids. I mean, who sees somebody else's child, pick them up and bring them inside to play with their kids? Who does that? I mean, that alone is a problem. So you mean to tell me, 
your child could be outside. A random person can see your child and say, hey, hi, hey, you. Yeah, come on in and come play with my children. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to adopt you too. And he said that he got permission from the mom. So I'm like, why would your mom just make you adopt her daughter? Like, what, what's going on here? Yeah. Now watch this, because he already know this is a problem. He already know this is not looking right. Watch this. Why would it be borderline suspect? Why would you feel that way if you adopted her from the hut? Why would you feel that's borderline suspect, Combs? Because it is suspect. Something ain't right about this. And he know that. Listen. You want to get it clear. I, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids. And See how he's trying to justify it? Oh, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids. And who? And everybody else adopted kids. Charlie's there on. Everybody's ever. Unless all of those people are doing the same thing. Because right here, what Diddy could be doing is telling on other people. In other words, hey, guys. All right, you got me. I got caught. All right, I'm guilty. This does look suspect. But guess what? Madonna's guilty. This one is guilty. He's snitching on everybody at this point. Let's go. Stop Sandra Bullock. I adopted you. Why are you saying all these people names and your eye contact with the camera don't look the same? You look guilty because you know you on live. Let's go. Because I felt that you could, you know. You felt that she could what? Um, enjoy also having a black parent. She could enjoy. She could enjoy having a black parent. Y'all can't see. So I'm the only one that can see this. Okay. I'm the only one that can see this. Let's go. To take care of you and help you out. So um, um, just clarify it because it's, it's crazy out here online. So. <laughs> what what is the what is there for her to clarify though? What is there to clarify? Why are you coercing her to clarify anything? And why is everybody in the background laughing? You know? This is like some Never Never Land type thing going on here, fam. Why? Why, why she need to clarify anything? <laughs> I played with the kids and I got permission from your mother. And to say all of that. Just make it good You're coercing her to say that. She didn't say that. He's Listen, he's coercing her to say these things. Oh, I got permission from your mother. Say this, say that. Because I don't want nobody talking about me in a crazy way. Um, well, I met Jesse and Delilah when I was six months old. Six months. <laughs> and six then months. we basically are sisters. All <laughs> four sisters. of us. So. And six then months is crazy. I always come over. Yes. And... And it's Listen, man. This don't sound normal, man. This don't sound normal, man. It's like Diddy is like a weirdo, bro. I mean, first of all, just coming on camera with these kids and, and just even saying these things like this, and then you make the point of saying, oh, this sounds suspect. I wouldn't even say that. Why would you even say that? Why would you even incriminate yourself by saying it sounds suspect? It does sound suspect. You see a random kid and you just decide, oh, let me bring them in to play with my kids. Then you say you got permission from the mom and then you try to justify it because everybody else adopted kids. I don't trust none of these people who be, be adopting these kids. I don't trust them. I'm just saying. I'm just asking the questions. What's going on? What's going on here? Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. Because something ain't right here. And I don't like when they do these kind of lives where they coerce these, these young kids to pretty much come online and say this and say that. I don't like that. Because this man is, is definitely a suspect and um, he clearly is telling her what to say, what to do, and that's not cool. And don't be fooled by smiles. There's a lot of times people be, uh, I guess, under control and they smile to hide what's really going on. Because everybody else in the background is smiling and they could know what's going on. And everything could be hidden, man. This is crazy, man. Y'all be the judge, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. We out. Peace.